Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Nancy Drew Midnight in Salem. In the last video, we went and talked to the judge that our dad knows about what's going on. Apparently there's this group called um, Ancestor... No, um, it's AW. It's uh, Accused Witches. That's what the group's called. And they're out over behind Deirdre over there by the courthouse protesting away about not getting the Hawthorne house, which is supposed to become public, according to the judge. But according to them, they have a right to it, which is interesting. I'm not sure if these people are related as descendants of the, um, the witches that were accused in 1692, but they did talk about reparations, so I have to assume the answer is yes. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of interesting stuff going on here. It seems like the judge is pretty convinced that May Perry was indeed the arsonist. We could go through the doors here, but I'm actually kind of curious about what's going on in this area here. Looks like there's some sort of cauldron shop. It's locked. Which is apparently locked. Okay. That's kind of a bit of a bummer. There's also a cemetery over there, but we'll check that out later. So it seems like this area here is like the hub for the game, this town square. Alright, so looks like we've got some stuff here. We've got, um, I keep forgetting this character's name and I feel so bad, um, but it's May's sister, the one that we're staying with, who works here at the museum. Street art in Salem coming soon. We've got a statue, apparently, and we can look at the statue... Am I going around like this? Okay. Can we look at anything on it? Yeah, here we go. Remembering the wrong we accused, may history never again be repeated. Hmm. 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 There's a, uh, an emblem of a bird, which is interesting. Hmm. Don't know if that's important, but since it's in the game, it probably is. And, oh, here we go. So this is, apparently this is where um, Olivia works. This is Ravencroft's Emporium. So it seems like the museum allows her to set up shop here and have a little gift shop thing. That's awfully nice of them. There's also a wall here uh, featuring all the names of the women the who were executed. The carefully researched genealogy of several accused witches. Their names weren't fully cleared until 2001. And some men, too. Oh, let's see. So we can still look around. I keep wanting to, like, point up to go down and do, like, an inverse y-axis thing for looking up and down, but it's not like that. There's also a symbol on this. Research genealogy of several... But I can't look at that, which is interesting. Huh. Okay. Anything else in here? We've also got this display case, but I can't seem to look at that. The 1692 Witch Trials discover the most enduring and emotional events in American history. More double light switches! Alright. Hey! Tegan! Oh my goodness! Installing a big showcase. I keep forgetting your name is so Tegan. So what have you seen in town so far? We decided to do the real witches tour. Oh. You talked to Olivia. Yeah. What's with her getup? Witch? Street magician, maybe? Everyone has to make a living. Is she telling the story about a coven living here in the recent past? Yeah. Yeah. Why? Just bad taste. Mm. Olivia is quite the local character. I hope you don't mind if we do the tour. I want to see more of the town, and finding out a place's old superstitions is kind of a habit I've gotten into. Sometimes it's uh, I'm excited important. to look around the museum. Of course. Tour tickets. All right. Doesn't seem like Tegan is particularly excited about us going on the the Olivia tour. How's the investigating going? Any progress with May? I've got some leads. I haven't had much progress with May, though. Yeah. I was wondering if I could ask you a couple of questions, if you have time. Sure thing. How can I help? Okay, so we've got a bunch of things that we can ask here. What's this new showcase about? Yes. This new showcase is going to be really cool. Just in time for Halloween, you know? 
But what is it about? If you come back on Halloween, I'll show you. Not you too. First Olivia and now Tegan. We came across a protester who was part of the accused witches organization. Do you know anything about them? The poor men and women who were accused of witchcraft in 1692 were killed and robbed under the guise of justice. Because of that, their descendants, the AW organization, have been working to get reconciliation ever since. So they are their descendants. They even filed a claim for ownership of the Hathorn House. Okay, so that was correct. Do you have any more information about the Salem Witch Trials? Did the exhibitions manage to spark your interest? They did. I found this display showing the ancestry of the accused, but it didn't seem fully complete. I was wondering if you had more information stored here somewhere. Well, we do have the upper floor, which is also where I keep most of my accused witches stuff. Would it be okay for me to go up there? I'd really like getting a better picture of the history of Salem. Usually we don't allow people up on the second floor. It's restricted. But... Maybe just this once I can make an exception. You are here to help, after all. So if you think it would benefit you, feel free to go up there. Thank you. Yay! I'll open the door for you. It's actually really cool. The stairs are hidden behind a bookcase. Ooh. Hold on. Nice! It's just like the Mist Library. How's the investigating going? Let's see here. So what's the deal with these pumpkins? Oh, yeah. I've prepared some pumpkins that visitors can carve and bring with them to place around Salem. Feel free to give it a try if you want. It's really fun and completely free. Nice. Although I'm more curious to know what the deal is with these candles. Talk to you later. Alright. We got a pumpkin. And apparently we can actually carve it? Oh, okay, so this is... We just select stuff and then we just hit carve. Uh, <laughs> that one's kind of funny. You know what? I like this one, and... Let's do, like, a non-creepy look. Like, let's just do something silly like that. Done. This looks great. Now to find a nice place to put it. Alright, we got a pumpkin. Can we just carve another Can't one? Can't use that here. No, that's our ticket. I just want to know... Okay, so the cursor is back. Not yet. Okay, so maybe we have to use the pumpkins one at a time or something. There's a lot of books here. I don't know if any of these are actually readable or not. Sometimes in these games you get a little bit of a an option to look at books if they stand out, like this one. The Salem of Yesterday. So, let's see, this seems to be... Okay, it's just this stuff here. Salem was founded by Roger Conant in 1626. Uh, first called Namkeg. Um, sort of, uh, let's see here, that's the... Okay, so, yeah, we, they mentioned England having their own witch trials. Da-da-da-da-da. We have... Oh, there's Thomas Danforth. So, I have to admit... Um, Danforth as a name, I didn't mention this in the last video, but it actually kind of has a um, a bit of a history with me, just like kind of as a weird personal story. One of my friends, um, ha either him or a friend of his, was typing a certain D word to use in frustration in a text message, and the phone was trying to autocorrect it, and in doing so, it it spelled out Danforth. So now he uses Danforth like an expletive, which I think is kind of funny, to be honest. So every time I hear him go, oh, Danforth, it kind of makes me laugh. But now I have another association with Danforth, thanks to this game. So, um, And there's Judge John Hathorne, or Hawthorne. Do-do-do-do-do. Spectral Evidence. Dark period of the trial, the laws were changed, and the economy grew, blah, 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 blah. And there's Nathaniel Hawthorne. Okay, so I did I did get that part right then. Also, this is a misspelling. You guys might want to correct that. There's another book here that's kind of a little bit of a standout. Sad that even children are named in the list of those accused witches. Like Abigail Johnson, just 11. Yeah. 
So one thing I was curious about was um, Nancy mentioned some ancestry display being incomplete, but I didn't see anything about that. I just saw the names on the wall. Apparently we can read multiple pages here. So this just talks about Abigail Johnson. Do 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 do. Wait a minute. Elizabeth Paris? Is that related to Perry? Hmm. Oh man, this is awful. These kids were like in terrible conditions in the prison. This kid was accused when she was four? Wow. That's pretty terrible. <coughs> mm, excuse me. Alright, let's go ahead and continue exploring. I don't think there's anything else we can do here. And it looks like we can't go back there. That's where the... The stuff up there, uh, or the, the exhibit that's under construction is being held. Alright, so we can go back here and into the secret bookcase. Alright, so there is a spiral staircase leading up here. So that's the way down. So let's not go back there yet. There's a couch here, which seems a little interesting. Whoa, originals? These books must be hundreds of years old. No wonder they're restricted. I hope their information is still open to the public, at least. Well, if they're up here on the second floor, I don't know if they are, but maybe the museum can help condense some of the information into a publicly digestible format. Okay, that was a really weird bit of navigation there, but it works, I guess. Can we climb that ladder? No. There's a desk here, and also a book that we can read. Salem in the Prohibition. So, oh, A.W. apparently stands for something else. It stands for Another Way. Huh. It apparently was used as a sign to mark the path that led the way to the hidden tundle, tunnels underground for smuggling. Interesting. Okay, that seems awfully... Uh, Awfully relevant. And we've also got a bunch of stuff here. Someone's a busy bee. Old court protocols, ancestry records. Tegan is really digging deep into the witch trials. Yeah. Let's see what she's got here. Hopefully this will be helpful. Uh... Okay, so it looks like this is an invitation for people who are descendants to get their names... How can we go f Oh, here it is. There's an arrow there. Okay, this seems awfully relevant. I don't know if we're supposed to take notes on this or not, but... So here's something that I've been kind of going back and forth on when it comes to this game. I don't know if I should take pictures in-game of everything. And, uh, unfortunately, I can't do that with this note as it stands here, or even with any of this stuff here, so... I can't bring out my cell phone and take a picture of it in-game, but I can use my real-life cell phone. So I'm actually going to do that just in case, and if we need to go back to it, I'll reference it. Okay, so we have this family of the Wardwells who seem to be connected to the... Um, oh, the wife was Sarah Good, the one that we were uh, reading about that was related to Dorcas Good. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, because the book downstairs mentioned that she was going to, uh, she was hanged. That is crazy that a four-year-old was accused of witchcraft. And I'm still wondering if Paris or Paris is related to Perry. That seems too much of a similarity. Apparently we can look back here, but there's nothing there. Alright, so that's it for those. So this one is about the AW. Apparently this is their their pamphlet. This kind of reminds me of the, um, what was it called, the, oh man, 
it was the the organization that was trying to save the theater in uh, the final scene, and I forget the name of it, but it had like a really funny acronym. But this is much more serious. Huh. Okay. So it seems like this is a fairly widespread group. Anything here? Nope. The real evil was in the accusers rather than those accused. <gasps> ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, so we have we got a couple of things that are really interesting here. So Nathaniel Hawthorne was born Nathaniel Hathorne. I'll I'll say it in this case just because that's a distinguishing thing from when he changed his name. So he was the great great grandson of John Hath uh, Hawthorne. I didn't realize that they were related. I thought he was just doing it to just remove association, but that's good to know. Um, apparently, he th was he felt like he was under the curse, and he wrote of his great great grandfather in the Scarlet Letter. Interesting. And Reverend Samuel Paris did not apologize. He did state that he was mis he may have been mistaken. But his family remained, and they changed their name to Perry. Aha! Okay, so that is indeed a relation. That is good to know. Anything else we can look at here? It doesn't seem like it. Go on the witch tour. I guess that got changed when we checked off the go to the museum thing. Okay. It looks like that is all we can do. There's nothing else that we can really do here. I keep forgetting I can actually talk to Deirdre. Well, we have the tickets. Let's go see the lame witch of Salem. Oops. I mean real witch. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else here. I do find this spot interesting. Like, why can we go here? Whoa, original? Oh, wait. There's this. I mean, can we move this out of the way and there's something under it? It feels like we should be able to do something with this. It seems a little too conveniently located. Okay, um, let's see if we can talk to uh, Tegan about anything here. How's the investigating going? Any nope. Talk to you later. Seems like you can just skip dialogue by clicking in general. You don't actually have to click on the text itself. That one has four light switches. Did you see that right there? That had four switches. Alright. Let's go up to the uh, area where Olivia is and go on the tour. Let's see what uh, the tour is all about. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. With a capital T. Talk to you later. Oh, apparently we can't go there. Oh wait. Fire do we... at Hathorn House. We all know certain renegades in this town know something or two about fire. May Perry. You don't think she'd do it again, do you? She was so young. Wouldn't surprise me. Creeping around back alleys with her hood head down. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Hmm. Well, with her history, she's bound to already be in the sights of the neighborhood watch. So we'll find out soon enough. My thoughts exactly. I'm still curious to know what's going on with this previous fire that apparently she was associated with. No time to explore outside Salem's old town center until this case is closed. Oh, okay. Seems like there's like some construction going on here or something. Alright, um... So what I'm wondering about is do we need to go this way through the cemetery? I think someone mentioned the cemetery a while back. Although I think that may have been the way to the house. It'll be more useful to explore the graveyard with a tour guide. Oh. Salem. It'll be more useful to explore. Hey, can we talk to you? Nope. Okay. So how do we... Oh wait, do I actually have to like point the ticket at her? Is that how we how we do it? That's probably what we have to do. This tour sounds interesting. Welcome on my tour. Okay, cool. Thank you. Tablet. 
Does she give that to us? No? Oh, does it... Do we have to, like, go through places and... The tablet, like, buzzes with stuff when we go there? Like, it geo-targets things and... Okay, so yeah, we can now go through the, the graveyard. There's some of those candles there. Alright. Oh, and there's another symbol. Uh-oh. There is a symbol. Oh, and there's an AW. A W. This is the same marking as in Mosam Castle. What a strange coincidence. So it is awfully uh, convenient that there are two things that are related to AW. There's the accused witches thing, and then there's this uh, another way thing. I find that rather odd. But it seems like we can't actually look at the symbol down there. It's kind of odd. Okay, so that's where the Hawthorne house is. And there's another symbol. That's the same bird thing. Roger Conant. Oh yeah, we heard about this guy. Seems like we can only look at the side of it, though. Nothing particularly unusual there. Unless I'm missing something. Dora Lee Com Cromwell? Is that what that says? Doherty. Okay. Yeah, these all seem to be normal gravestones. Nothing particularly unusual. So where's the tablet supposed to come into play? Do we look at stuff and then the tablet buzzes? Samuel Sewell. Oh, here he is. This is the guy who wrote the uh, apology book. Okay, what is this? Is this like the symbol of the Hawthorne house and that's why it's near here? The spot gives me the chills. Ooh. The spot gives me We can't actually examine it up close. Oh stand before the remains of Salem's most zealous and conniving judge. So lacking in morals was Judge Hawthorne that he sentenced innocence to death while claiming the estates of the dead as his own. Unlike the more remorseful Judge Sewell, Hathorn never felt any guilt for his part in the Salem Witch Trials. Yeah, Olivia's take on this seems to be pretty slanted, but understandably so, I'd say. Um, so I guess we just point the tablet at things and click on them. That's how that works. Okay, let's actually click on all of these. Can we not? Oh, so it's only certain ones. Oh. Can't use that here. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that. I thought we could do it on like everyone. Alexander Bell. Can't use that. So how do you know which one you can use it on? Is it? Oh, is that what the the little. Uh, bird thing is all about. Is that a raven? Maybe the bird thing is a symbol for like you can use the the tablet. Yeah. Through these woods lies the infamous Hathorn estate. It was common during the Salem witch trials that the lands of the accused were taken and resold for cheap. The judge himself bought many such lands and on them built his grand estate. The Hathorn House has since come to represent all the wrongs that were inflicted during the trial. Hmm. That's definitely another motive that um, someone could be just getting revenge for all that. Okay, so basically, 
I'm just gonna look out for that symbol, and that's I think that's just gonna be where we can where we can use the tablets. So we can use it here, I'm assuming, right? Before you stands Abigail Hathorn, helping the accused witches escape the grasp of her own brother, Judge Hathorn himself. Abigail freed many from their holding cells until the judge caught her in the act and locked her up in a cell deep within the Hathorn house. The statue was given the name Little Liberty in honor of her valiant efforts to free the innocent. Yeah, Olivia... I, I get where she's coming from, but her narration is so sensationalized that it feels very one-sided. Not yet. There are some more things I'd like to look into before I'm done. Come on, Drew. Oh, I thought we wanted to go to the house. All right. Maybe we have to complete the tour, right? Yeah, we need to visit the spots. Okay. Let's just go back to the uh, square, because I think there's more there. So I think there was stuff inside the museum itself, right? Yeah, here we go. The Salem Museum, known formerly as the Town Hall. Not only a great resource for the Salem Witch Trials, it also holds records of other interesting facets of our local history. Anyone visiting Salem does well to seek out the forbidden knowledge hidden in these halls. Well, we went up to the second floor. Is that forbidden enough? Okay, probably not. Wait a minute, was that a... Yeah, this is another thing. It was a time of horror, when the witches who walked the earth were wrongfully prosecuted and thus stripped of everything. These are the ghosts you'll find here in Salem. Their homes taken, their <coughs> knowledge destroyed, their lives erased. Yeah, but not everyone who was convicted was an actual witch, right? I mean, I don't know a lot about the witch trials, so I probably shouldn't be speculating too hard about this. Alright, let's go in here. I just want to make sure there's nothing upstairs. I don't think there is, but I couldn't remember, so... I don't think there would be, though, because the public isn't allowed up here, so I don't think, uh... Yeah. I doubt Olivia would be putting up tour spots up here. Is there anything here? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, I didn't even see these. Ooh. Let's see. Can I actually hold them? Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. More candles. Let's see. I think that was the same one, though, that we saw earlier. Okay, so it seems like... Okay, that just goes there. Can we talk to uh, Tegan again? How's the investigating going? Nope. Talk to you. Alright, so apparently we haven't finished with all the, the uh, tour spots yet. Now, we haven't really visited any of these spots out here. I know we can't go there yet. Darn, miss I don't know if this giant sculpture, statue, rock thing is important somehow. Oh, here we go. What is this? Roger Conant. Uh, oh, here we go. The first settler of Salem, 1626. I was a means through grace assisting me to stop the flight of those few that then were here with me and that by my utter denial to go away with them who would have gone either for England or mostly for Virginia. 
That is a very long run-on sentence. Can we use the thing here? Probably not. Can't use that here. Yeah. So I thought the tour... I, I, maybe this was just the impression I was getting from Olivia earlier, but I thought... Um, it was a thing where, like, you actually... The shops aren't making a lot of business right now. You actually walked with her through stuff, but... I guess this makes a little more sense, given that this is a... an adventure game without any, like, time pressure. So... Can we go do anything in the courthouse? The road has completely collapsed into the sinkhole. No wonder they closed it off. The ground is still crumbling. Oh, so that's what's going on there. That's gotta be important somehow, right? That can't be... A specter may be hanging over Salem, but that doesn't keep the town from getting into the Halloween spirit. Neither does it keep Nancy Drew from solving the case. Okay, there's our car. Hey, dear, uh, can I go to the courthouse? Here we go. When do we want it? What do we want? Justice. I don't think the courthouse would have any tour spots, would it? I don't remember anything being here. Can we talk to Alicia about anything? I'll come back later. Oh. Evidently not. Nothing there. And doesn't seem to be anything there still. What can I help you girls with? Uh, apparently nothing. Talk to you later. We still have not finished that, huh? Maybe there's one in the cemetery that we just completely missed. What do we want? Justice! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? Justice! Alright, um... Unless we just talk to Olivia. Let me just try that. Uh oh, here come. There's this statue in the cemetery. Little Liberty. Mm -hmm. A highlight of my tour. Many people come here just to get a picture of it. It is said to portray Abigail Hathorne helping the accused witches escape the trials. Some even believe that Abigail's ghost still walks the forest surrounding the Hathorne house, her twisted soul now dragging the living into the afterlife. You are so dramatic. Talk to you later. Like, I wouldn't mind if she wasn't, like, trying to make money off of this. But clearly she's making money off of this. And that's kind of what bothers me about it. Is there a thing here by where her shop is? It's locked. Can't use that? No. No. I feel like there was one of these things that we saw, like one of these bird things that we saw really early on. And I can't remember for the life of me where it was. And I apparently can't, okay, I have to go out here. The way these nodes are placed is kind of a little awkward. Ooh, should we take the witch tour? Eh, it's all right. Yeah, we can't. The shops aren't making a lot of. Can't seem to do anything more here. Let's go back to the cemetery. I think that's a, probably the best idea at this point. Cause I don't see any more of those signs out here. I just keep sneezing and sneezing today. Alright, what have we missed? Have we missed anything along the path? Wait a minute. No, we did that one. That was uh, the judge. Alexander Bell. I wonder if he's going to come into to play here somehow. 
Usually when a, one of the Nancy Drew games mentions a historical figure, that person ends up somehow being important. Not yet. There are some more things. I come on. Okay. There's another statue here, but there's nothing um, about it that the game apparently considers important. Unless we look at it from this side. This tree isn't important, is it? There's another... That's beautiful! Another candle there, and that one Nancy actually admires. The other ones she was going, kind of just going, hmm. Yeah, nothing, nothing too uh, crazy here, it would seem. No more tour spots. Nothing. I don't know what the purpose of the uh, the pumpkin is supposed to be. I also have this AW key, and I don't know if that's supposed to be used on something here. I mean, this has the AW sign on it. Can't use that here. Yeah, I didn't think so. That I mean, it's not really a keyhole. Yeah. Interesting. But not helpful. I guess at this point, I could try going back to the Perry house, although... I don't think that would have anything, right? That cannot be a part of the tour, right? That just can't be a part of the tour. Yeah, there's no symbol out here. I could have sworn we had a, another one of those bird symbols somewhere else. Let's just make sure we didn't miss anything in the house. Because we, we just wasted a bunch of time there, and I hate to end the video on that note. Okay, so nothing here has changed. Nothing... I wonder if we need to put out a pumpkin here, but there's already pumpkins, so... Yeah, there's definitely no bird signs. I can't look in the mailbox. Aw. I guess we shouldn't be doing that with Deirdre right there. I still think it's interesting that we can go here. There's gotta be significance to that, right? There has to be some secret door or cellar or something. Maybe if we talk to May at this point, things might be a bit different. Hi. So we met this interesting woman named Olivia. Mm -hmm. We all know about Olivia and her magic. Yeah. I thought it was pretty cool. Good for you. I don't know if I thought it was pretty cool, though. We saw Tegan at the museum. Looks like she's working on an interesting installation. Why don't you ask her? Well, I thought you might have an opinion, or... I don't. Can you just leave her out of this? I don't want her being involved with my problems. I'm done talking, okay? Alright. I understand. So, I can't remember... I, I really should be paying better attention here. Ooh, we get actual pictures of people. That's cool. Although I can't really interact with anything, though. Um, but I can't remember, is, this, is the Perry house that we're in right now, is this where the Perry family lived back in the day? Because I'm wondering if the, this house itself has some significance. Oh wait, that just goes up. Deirdre, I need to, you to give me some space here. I probably shouldn't be... 
Alright, I hope we can go snooping around in there later. That would be pretty cool. The neighborhood looks pe I'm just making sure there's no comments that are... Okay, what is that? Huh. Tegan's photo? Now why can I take that with me? That's interesting. That is very interesting. Can't do anything with my suitcase. Yeah, when I first came up here, I forgot that you could hold down the right mouse button to look around, so I'm just making sure there's nothing else. But it doesn't seem like I can actually go anywhere else, though. So. Alright. Um. <laughs> that just... That looks funny. I'm sorry. Deirdre following you around everywhere has got to be one of those unexpected, weird delights of the this game. The kitchen table has a great view <laughs> out into the neighborhood. It's just such a different thing for a Nancy Drew game, and I'm still getting used to it, but it's kind of cool that they're they're trying something different. Yeah, I don't think there's really much we can do. Ugh. Yeah, that's kind of how I'm feeling right now. I don't know what we can really accomplish at this point. So, do I show this to you? No? Okay. Yeah? Mm-hmm. I want to just listen to this sound clip again. Hiking the Patagonian Highlands, Outback Safari... Okay. I just Ugh. didn't know if there was any mention of Austria. I can remember. Alright. So at this point, I think I'm going to end the video here. We've kind of gone on for a little while now, and I don't really know what we've been missing. I'm assuming there's just one of those witch tour locations that's we just completely overlooked and I need to visit all of them before the game can progress. So I'm going to try to look for that in between this video and the next one and I'll come back when I find it. So until next time everybody, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate all your support for this let's play and on the channel in general. It's been really fun making these videos so far and I hope you'll uh, continue to watch them and stick around and see what happens. I'm really interested in seeing where the story goes. It seems like, just as kind of a, an overview of where we are right now, it seems like there's a lot of different angles for um, what the motive could be. We've got the land going public at the end of like two days from now. Um, we've got revenge for the witch trials. We've got... There's, there seems to be all kinds of things that could be tied to this, so... I don't know, I'm just interested in seeing how it's going to uh, turn out. Okay, so here's something. I'll end on this note. Olivia. Outside, you were going like, and when I talk about witches, I don't mean old ladies with brooms and stuff. But you're selling brooms. Like, come on. At least be consistent with the, the story. Alright, I'll go ahead and stop now. Thanks for what, so much for watching. If you enjoyed yourself, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to ring the little bell um, next to the subscribe button so you can get notified of future Nancy Drew uh, Let's Play episodes and other things, Adventure Gaming as well. And until next time, I will catch you on the flip side.